Okay, so this is an update to my LCD control box display unit that I've built using an Arduino board on a Sinclair C5. Um, so as, as you can see, this is a C5 with a set of indicators on it, and there is the LCD display. Um, so if I turn it on with the power switch right there, as you can see, it's come on, it's asking me for a pin. Um, so at the moment, none of the electrics on the C5 will work until I've entered this pin code. So pushing the, the motor button won't do anything. Neither does the indicator switches. So nothing will work until they've entered the pin code. So if I enter it in now it's one two, one, two three four. So as you can see if you can see that clearly um so on the display we've got the date and the time in the top left and um, we've got a little motor icon right there that shows you that you can use a motor. Um, you've got battery voltage in the top right. Here you've got the motor temperature, six degrees, um, ambient temperature, and then you've got the mileage, total mileage, and the session mileage. And then down here we have some options. Uh, we have amps. Well, the ramps being used, and the green one is the speed. Now at the bottom, you've got a left indicator and a right indicator, which is not lit up at the moment. Um, a light icon, hazards, and then under underneath the C5, um, blue LED strip lights. So if I use the um, indicator switch to turn the right indicator on. Let's see if it's coming on as it should do. But also on the display it's flashing on there too. Which is useful because I always forget to turn them off when I'm using it. Uh, so if I turn that off and then the same goes for the left. See that? There you go. So that's the indicators running through the Arduino. So that's all software controlled. There's no flashy unit in the back. Um, the advantage being that now it's all done in software, you can easily implement a hazard light switch. So if I push it on, see the hazards. Oh, the indicators are on. So if I turn that off, and then the, so this is the headlights, which turns the front light and the back light on, which used to be the switch down below, and also some blue LED strip lights, which are probably hard to see, but I have them just mounted there. So as we've entered the pin code, we can operate the motor. And as I do that, if you watch the screen, you can see the amp usage. That'll settle at about 30 amps at the moment, but it will increase depending on if you're going up a hill or how heavy the driver is, etc. And the motor icon at the top, that will be disabled when certain conditions are met, such as the motor temperature reaching 80 degrees C, or the amp usage going high for long periods of time. Um, and that's about it. That's my LCD display for the Sinclair C5 using an Arduino Mega Board.